So what makes a fighter a good or even top-notch fighter? Let's zoom in together. They are courage, strength and conditioning skills. Without courage, we won't be able to handle situation calmly and sharply to spar, fight or do higher difficulty moves or combo. Go up to the ring to spar or fight. Last till the end of the fight if possible. Take for example when Wakao who is in the rank of 5 fighters in kickboxing world and is excellent in strength and conditioning and also excellent in skills. Nika Residence which is in Singapore is a residential mixed environment with retail shopping area and 70 meters next to Tarmera MRT interchange to your doorstep. Sinica Residence which is also the only plot of premium Residential come retail shopping development among the existing neighboring condos launching soon in early January 2023. Please contact 9630 for more information. And even part of the skills could be experiences in training and fighting, but due to his scared of one fighter for whatever reason, imagine his strength and skills might be affected in fight because of the psychological issues like courage which would affect his self-confidence and performance. Similarly, without excellent strength and conditioning like good reflexes and powerful strikes or tough, durable body to take pains and damage, even 10 skillful techniques used by us probably can't match one powerful blow from opponent. Hit and not get hit is the mantra in martial art fighting and even clinching and grappling. But what comes beyond is to be prepared to get hit or pain or damages even after great training and sparring. Attack properly with good dominance or defend effectively without moving too much backwards to relentless strikes and great dodgings. These are also some other good strategy or tactics. Protecting the head and neck is more important than the body. Most or many Muay Thai gyms in Thailand, the trainer will say that the fighter didn't condition well or is lazy, so he lost when the opponent gave him body knockout, which does not include head and neck, which I agree largely but not fully as there are some weak points around abs area that cannot be trained by your conditioning. Neck and head also got few major weak points that cannot be trained much. For skills wise, ability to control distance and range, even fighting in closer or close range. This might include pinching. For example, staying close enough with your opponent in the ring like avoiding opponent's punch within that inch and not back off too far so as to attack back or counter fast enough and near enough. Keep moving back when opponent attacks means maybe can't attack or counter back fast enough probably lose points in the fight also. Footwork, speed, balance, timing, accuracy, precision and power are also important factors. For example, roundhouse kick range, be it low, mid, high kick, is longer than punch, or elbow or even knee range. 